Here's a thousand dollars. And that's from all the elves. Merry Thank Christmas you to you. You ever heard of Secret Santa? Yeah. You just met him. Are you serious? I'm serious. He is a true blessing to meet, a man you will only see if you are on the receiving end of a $100 bill. I don't believe it's real. It's real. It is real. You're kidding. From a fire ravaged mobile home park in Lake Barrett. This is for you. It's $200. No way. Yeah, yeah, it's for you. It's for your Christmas. To the thrift stores of downtown. Did you drop something? I think you did. Here, this must be yours. Oh, that's it's not mine. His team of elves can't help but make quite an entrance. I stepped by this. I went up to him because I wondered if it was dangerous to be in here right now. And once they do make that entrance, their mission is to make a difference. So you either use it for yourself, for your children, or somebody that you can help. Or pass it on and do it to somebody else this year. You use it however you need to use it. There's just one condition. Yes, there has always been one condition since the original Secret Santa. The name on here, Larry Stewart, Secret Santa. His name stamped in remembrance on each $100 bill. Oh, okay. He died last year. He was our oh, good friend. Right? They want people to simply share the spirit. All you got to do is pass on the kindness to somebody else this Christmas. Pass it on to somebody else. My church thanks you, because that's what I'm going to give it to. Me. God is good. He works in mysterious ways, do the right thing, good things happen. Great things are happening here in San Diego and across the country. When you do something really kind, it is totally by surprise and totally unexpected. The emotion kind of bubbles forward, and that's a beautiful thing because it's about love. I love your people. In each city he visits, Santa's goal is to duplicate himself, keep Larry Stewart's 25-year legacy alive. It's about passing it on. It isn't so much about the money, but it's about passing it on. To be in his presence is remarkable. It's why the number of elves grows each year. But it's that knack at finding those who are truly in need of a miracle. My fiance died and I ended up being homeless. <laughs> So this hundred dollars means a lot to me. I'm living in a women's shelter right now. That can make anyone believe. You believe in Santa Claus? Yeah, I believe, yeah. You do? Well, this is from Santa. With photojournalist Mike McGregor. <laughs> Thank you so much. Kirsten Lindquist, 10 News. Thank you very, very much.